goodness, look at all of the green leaves. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Winter is over, everyone. And it is now the first day of spring. <gasps> and Coco has come to see us again. So welcome back to Creek's Legends here in Cattails, everyone. And we have just completed our very first year of life here in the mystic colony and i have to say my breath is kind of taken away to see all of the greenery again i love spring it is one of my all-time favorite seasons full of so many plants and new life and i think this is actually the first spring that we have ever spent in mystic colony so let's go ahead and see what coco wants with our young curious cat creek and uh if he might have any more hints of mysteries and legends for our very curious conspiracy weaving kitten to work on I heard a rumor that Savannah is now shell selling shiny trinkets. They're special golden baubles that are extremely rare out here in the wild. Have you found a use for the red rose bush at the sacred temple yet? If so, you'll want to pick up a shiny trinket when you can afford one. <gasps> Does the shiny trinket allow us to either take a cat as as our, our forever companion mate? Or does it perhaps allow us to, perhaps allow us to have kittens? Oh my goodness. Well, that's a bunch of romance. And I'm not sure if... Creek is really ready for romance yet when she's got so many mysteries to unravel. But I can say that as a treasure loving cat, I want our paws on that shiny trinket, mate or no mate. You see, shiny trinkets are used for when a cat wants to propose marriage. Giving one to another cat means you want to spend the rest of your life with them. If a shiny trinket is accepted by a cat, a wedding ceremony will be held the same day at the sacred temple. A wedding ceremony? Marriage? It's a beautiful symbol of affection, but you should think long and hard before trying to give a shiny trinket to anyone. They're very expensive. <laughs> so we have to worry more, not so much about the lifelong vows that we would exchange with another cat, but the price. That's hilarious. It's not like we're rolling in the muse right now anyway. You'll also want to make sure that your shiny trinket will be well received when you give it out. Have patience and wait for the right time. That's all I have to tell you. I'll see you later, Creek. Coco? Coco, you come here to my house on the first day of spring, telling me how to get married. You're, you're kind of you're kind of moving a little fast here, Coco. But hello, 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 spring! I am so excited to see all of the greenery again. And you guys, you guys, this means that Greek can go swimming again. Isn't that fantastic? She is definitely a cat who has very much missed the waterways. I mean, look at her jumping straight into the puddles, splashing around, getting muddy, appreciating the warm weather, no longer having to worry about the ice keeping her away from having a fun time in the waterways. In fact, let's say good morning to Savannah now that we're probably covered in mud. Creek, I was just thinking about you. Stay a while and let's chat. I really enjoy it when you stop by, friend. Have anything new for me today? Um, I don't think we have anything new, but we do have some of Savannah's favorite marigolds that we have piled up in front of our house. And it looks like we have enough that we can spare one to give her as a gift. Because normally we're trying to hold on to at least five of every item so that we can think about starting a little bit of a gardening spot inside of our den. Which would be so cool. I seriously love this! You're the best, Greek. Yay! So Savannah, I hear that you actually happen to have a shiny trinket now. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's see, green firefly, hmm. Now, I don't know, I don't know if Alyssa would like you having one of the ancestors inside of your paws here, Savannah. Uh, what else, turtle shells? <gasps> conches! I want a conch! I really, 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 really want a conch. Oh gosh, well, let's go explore the beach. If she has found some turtle shells and conches, then maybe we're lucky enough to be able to find uh, some of those ourselves. So that would be really fun to have some conches that we could start decorating with. Oh, talk about treasure. And speaking of treasure, look at this. Look at this, the shiny trinket. A dazzling trinket of human make. Give this item to another cat to propose marriage. Where are they gonna put it though? Like. I guess the shiny trinket must be big enough to either be like a little cat earring or a, a necklace or something, or maybe like a little bracelet. Uh, huh, I'm gonna have to give that some thought. <laughs> A lot of you guys say that the first day we met Savannah, she actually gave us like a little pack that Creek wears all the time and she keeps all of her stuff stuffed into the little pack, like a little red wall designed little pack sack going around her uh, waist. And I actually think that's a really cute idea. Also black roses would be kind of interesting to have a cat collect and then like start a black rose garden for where you go to like break up with somebody. We'll have to think about how we're going to try to alter the world around us as Creek becomes a little 
little bit more comfortable with living here. <gasps> inventory expansion! I actually completely forgot about that. So we definitely need to look into the inventory expansion in the future. And one day I would love to get the beaky. Um, but otherwise, nothing too new. Though now that we know the shiny trinket and the contra here, that does actually make Creek quite curious, if you ask me, about what some of the other shops could be selling inside of the other colonies that we could start making friends with. So, hmm, we'll look into that in the future. And Mossy, that's actually, oh, I just had a great idea, guys. What if we work really hard with Mossy and we try to become her friend this spring so that she can teach us how to plant all sorts of adorable little plants in the garden expansion for our den. I love it. That's going to be one of our first goals. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to her. Mossy, whoops, I'm trying to give you something that's like poison. Okay, there we go. Oh, Creek, just in time. Care to join me for some cloud watching? You know, lately I get bored in the meadow. Isn't that weird? I mean me, bored of all these free flowery smells. But sometimes I can't wait and want to look for you instead and see what you're doing. You're always so full of adventures and stories, Creek. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I wrote that. I forgot about that actually. <laughs> but we'll go ahead. Um, maybe she wants to have a winter blueberry. So let's give her a winter blueberry. Yay! Okay, good. So she enjoys it. She's gonna go do some cloud watching. Let's talk to Alyssa and see how Alyssa's doing this morning. Creek, it's good to see you. Spring seems to be the rebirth of the land as everything starts anew. Okay, good. Alright, so that's all she has to say to us for now. So let's go ahead and eat. Uh, we'll go ahead and eat this turtle meat because it's a fantastic, beautiful spring day. And let's get started with exploring around our colony, doing some wonderful fishing. What is that? Is that a ladybug? I want the ladybug. Come here. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. An ordinary ladybug with bright red markings. Oh, that's a new creature. I've never seen a ladybug in the spring in cattails before. <gasps> and a frog. A delicious, delicious frog. Turn around, my little friend. Face a different direction, why don't you? Ah, dang it. He saw me. Ah, he got away. All right. Well, at least he has a buddy over here who's facing the opposite direction. Yes! Alright, so we got that frog, picked up some golden seal, there's another adorable ladybug. I, I guess ladybugs, because they're shiny and they look like little treasures in themselves. <gasps> Catnip! No way! Catnip even! And go! Ah, oh, dang it, we missed that fish. I really wanted to get that fish for Alyssa. Are we out of inventory space? No. Why can I not pick this up? Oh, it doesn't have one ready. It's just the sign that the plant is there. Silly, silly me. All right, well, and there's another frog right over here that I would not mind. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, he did it. He did it. He got away. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have minded to catch him, but he definitely got away. And then let's see what's down here. Nothing down here. Okay. Well, oh, and here's some lavender. I'm sure Mossy will really love that. And perhaps we should start collecting them. Perhaps we should start collecting the lavender to eventually plant inside of the garden area. Hmm. All right. We got another mouse, which is really good. A little bit of food. In fact, I don't mind. Let's go ahead and eat this, this little guy, because I feel like... Oh, there's another one. The fields are just full of life. It is so different after the long, long period of winter not having any food uh, and being very difficult. Oh, there's another ladybug. Let's go get them. I just really feel like Creek would love the ladybugs because they look like little treasures. So we will decorate around our den with the ladybugs. And I feel like I want to catch a big fish, a big fat fish to be able to give to Alyssa and be able to say like, hey, look what we did. Okay. Got that little one. Hmm. Oh, there's some marigold for Savannah. So we'll go ahead and collect that up too. Not to mention we have so much that we could sell. All right, let's grab this. Hmm. I'm not about to wander into a battle, am I? Okay, no. <laughs> I don't really think the first day of a beautiful spring day is the kind of day that Creek would want to battle. Hmm. She is much more interested. Oh, Ladybug, there it is much more interested in being playful and rushing all about and trying to see if she can find any unique kind of prey. Oh, 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 oh. Here's some sin or some licorice and also going down to the beach. So let's celebrate. Oh, there's a little mouse. Oh, there's a, a crow. 
Okay, cut the mouse. I really want that crow. I think, ah, oh, he got away, I think. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you're trying to get the crow. Heck no, heck no. Okay, we, oh, we chased away that forest colony. Wow, look at all the prey, guys. This area is full of prey and forest colony was already trying to stick their paws in it. Okay, so maybe we do need to go and participate in that battle at some point. But today being the first day that the waters are melted, I think that that creek would just really, really, really want to go and play on the beach. So let's go explore the beach. There's another crow. Maybe the same crow we just saw chased away. Oh, try not to move, try not to move. Ah! Okay, I got him! I got him! Oh, there's another one! There's just so much abundance of food and wildlife right now. Oh, this is fantastic. There's bird after bird after bird. Oh, dear. Oh, and there's another colored ladybug! That's so cool, we found an orange ladybug now. Are there any fish? I really want to do some fishing. So we need to look for some fish. The rivers and the creeks are no longer flooded and Creek can play along the waterways. Oh, I'm so happy for her. But I suppose we'll, we're gonna look pretty much every day now that the weather is warmer down by the beach because she loves the water for all sorts of seashells and also try to catch some fish. Oh, am I out of inventory space? All right, well, let's go ahead and eat the little mouse. There we go. And then we can sell a whole bunch of this stuff when we go back this time. But I think Creek would spend quite a bit of time actually exploring along the beaches, trying to find some of those lovely seashells. And then, <gasps> the, they're full of fish. There's fish everywhere now. Oh my gosh, it's a happy day. Happy day. Okay, we've got to get this fish. So let's see. Um, Should I, should I, uh, okay. What if I drop it, drop fish? Oh my gosh, there's so many fish inside of the waters. This is so exciting. We have a sea bass, a whole sea bass. Oh, this is thrilling. Okay, we've got to go home soon so that we'll have a little bit more room. Oh, and there's a seashell. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is wonderful. This is the kind of happy, silly, beautiful playing along the beaches I've always dreamed of for Creek. All right, well, I'm gonna leave a couple of the ladybugs over here because Creek would definitely pick the scallop treasures too. Um, and let's do one last search to see. It'd be really cool actually, and I might submit this as a suggestion for the game. If every now and then when you came along the beaches, you, there was a little dig spot and you could kind of dig up like a random little treasure now and then, that would be really fun. All right, no rare seashells today. So I think we'll go ahead. <gasps> More fish, so many fish. Oh, this is so cool. Yes, okay, that's a really cool looking fish. I want it, I want it. Uh, what do I drop, what do I drop? Okay, <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just drop the uh, the poison the poison pieces and hope that no forest colony cat stumbles upon the sneak root, the hidden treasure of the hunters and the warriors. There we go. Of hey, come on, no, no, no. But hopefully no nobody, no hidden warrior or like none of the fighters from Forest Colony will find all of the snake lily that we're just tossing on the ground because we're so eagerly fishing. We need that black bunny. We need that black bunny for the forest, the little forest spirit. Okay, wait for it. <gasps> There's a turtle. There's a turtle. Okay, need the bunny, need the bunny. Oh gosh, there's just so much happening and we already have the catnip. Yeah, it's been it's been quite the busy day. Okay, so we now have the black hair. There is a rare turtle. I didn't know that it would show up after we did. Um, And yeah, actually I feel like, I feel like Creek kind of irresponsibly is just dropping the snake lily, the rare snake lily behind and leaving it there for anybody to find got the turtle yeah and just leaving it there for anybody to find and she's kind of like oh that's right she's got to hide some of the snake lily because this is the the secret hidden fighting ability we like to say that the other colony cats don't know that the snake lily is how the mystic colony cats have their fierce fighting reputation but we just dropped a whole bunch of it because there were treasures to pick up so hopefully the contested forest colony cats won't actually go ahead and, um, you know, stumble upon the treasures we left behind and figure out that that's a fighting technique and a fighting tool that they could start using too. 
All right. Well, we're really building up a huge collection of treasures and there's so many fish down by the beach. I think that that would make Creek absolutely beside herself with excitement and joy. And uh, she's also very much looking forward to being able to spend some time with Mossy, learning how to plant a whole bunch of these beautiful plants. I like that idea a lot that she does want to learn how to actually start... Um, actually start the gardening and we need to get I think 300 mews in order to get the gardening expansion to our den so we're going to be looking into that in the future too but you guys I really hope that Craig's decision to avoid the fighting to he have heard that there was some fighting going on and to kind of casually decide that she wasn't going to participate in it and go play on the beach and collect treasures and leave behind her deadly poisons the secrets of mystic colonies fighting skills Really hope that won't come back to bite us, but I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.